The first EQ type is usually located at the top of the EQ block. It's called the high shelf, or high on some boards. It can be labeled with a kind of a bracket thing and a shelf frequency number like 12 kilohertz or 10 kilohertz. But if it's not labeled, it's typically around 10 kilohertz. Raising or lowering the control will raise or lower all frequencies from the shelf frequency and up by an equal amount, like this. It's like you put a shelf under those frequencies and push them up or pull them down. The treble or tone control on a stereo works this way. So if you turn the knob to plus five, it will essentially turn up the volume on the frequencies from 10 kilohertz and up by five dBs. Typically, there's only one knob to control how much you raise or lower the shelved range. But on better analog boards, and most digital ones, you also have a control to choose the frequency, and maybe even one that changes the slope up to that frequency as well. This is very useful if you know what you're doing. I think most people also misunderstand how the high shelf really works. If you looked at the frequencies that voices and instruments produce, you would find that most of them don't produce any frequencies above 10 kilohertz, or at least very little. So why can you hear the effect when you turn this control up or down? Look at the graphic again, and notice that while the flat shelf part goes from 10 kilohertz and on up, there's a slope from 10 kilohertz down a couple of octaves to two or three kilohertz. That's the pivot point where the EQ change begins. When you raise or lower the shelf control, it gradually changes all the frequencies along the slope from two or three kilohertz all the way up to the shelf frequency. This is why you can hear it. Most voices and instruments produce a lot of frequencies between one and five kilohertz. And this slope compensates rather nicely for the way the frequency response of our ears diminishes as frequencies get higher. Just watch the Fletcher Munson video and you'll see what I mean. The high shelf creates a nice slope up or down by using one control to change the overall treble in a way that's pleasing to our ears. You know, this idea occurred to me because in the studio I have an EQ that has a 32 kilohertz high shelf, and it sounds great, but not because there are some magical frequencies above 32 kilohertz. It's because it makes a nice gentle slope up to 32 kilohertz. It's all about the frequencies along the slope, not about the frequencies that are shelved. So the high shelf can add airiness or crispness to a sound, or by reducing the level you can subtract harshness or sizzle. But remember, think backwards and try to cut away what you don't like about a sound first, instead of automatically adding what you do like. I'm Greg Hill for AV Genius.